good morning you beautiful peeps my name is John welcome to my channel and it's a very special day it's arrived finally I feel that I'm the last youtuber to get it and trust me if you'd have known how hard I tried to get this early how many wheelie wheeler dealer things I was attempting to do and the YouTube gods deemed it as not worthy so I ended up getting it last but I'm not gonna let that bother me because it is finally here and I'm very happy thank you to Maker Fire to, for sending it to me um, the weather in Malta in the last three days when it should be sunny has in fact been quite bad and today it is still uh, <clears throat> very cloudy, there's a thread of rain and it's very windy. So if I was to go out and try and record today, there was going to be lots of a wind noise. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a different, I, I'm going to see what's inside today. So today is the inside, what's inside video, what's inside the car video that is. And then tomorrow will be the driving the car and unboxing sort of on, on camera but i'll be reversing them so i'll be releasing that one first so you'd have seen it driving first and then you'll see me take it apart just to explain that to you so let's get into it i have just opened it up to make sure everything's there but i have not taken it out i have not done anything to it so fuck us we have Oh, yeah, of course, the like, bigger car, so the wing has to be off. Um, charger, is that plastic? Come on, WL Toys. Plastic, that's not very good. Ew. Ew, some extra um, ball joints there for the tie rods. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get into the car. That's what we're here for. And doesn't she look pretty? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I hope there was nothing in there that I needed. Um, I will, before I get into anything technical, that's the one tenth. There were a couple of people that were saying it's not a one tenth. This is Collins FTX. I think that's quite definitive, is it not? It's exact. In fact, the 104001 is a smidgen longer. So there you go. Right, well, I uh, oh, just want to get on with it, but let's see what's in here. Oh, once again, their design department have spent millions on creating a new same controller. Okay, all right, fair enough. All right, ladies and gents, let's open her up and take a look. I was hoping that they'd have fixed the wheel wobble, but let's see. Wow, okay, that's good to see, because some were predicting that it wasn't going to come with a fan on the speed controller ESC. Oh, what do you think? What do you think she looks like? Same battery as the 124019 and 018. So I can put that to one side. If the drilling continues, I'm going to stop this video because I'm getting quite frustrated with it and I know that will be frustrating you guys as well. Uh, there was one thing that was also mentioned was, 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 was. that the shocks were just the same. <clears throat> so, you can clearly see the shocks are not the same. These ones are much, much, much bigger. Same length, but they're definitely wider uh, without a shadow of a doubt. So that's uh, good to see. I'm very intrigued because at some point you know I am going to jump out of that fifth floor abandoned hotel window and try and recreate their sales video to see if it, uh, if it survives because it doesn't seem like the best suspension on the planet. Oh, I do like that. 
Oh, 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 yes, I like that indeed. So, <clears throat> what's different with this one versus the 124019, for example? As he grabs one off the shelf. The most noticeable <clears throat> is the location of the motor. As you can see, the motor on the 124019 and the 144001 is located at the rear. And this is where the gear is that goes to the drive shaft. The drive shaft's long and goes all the way to the front diff and the rear diff. On this one, the motor is located in the middle, which is great for weight distribution. It means that you can put weight to the rear or to the front, wherever you need it. And then obviously the gear is here and then the, uh, the power is split to the front diff and the rear diff. Uh, the drive shaft, the dog bones, um, seem quite quite strong indeed. Um, obviously, being a 110, you have much more space to play with, as you can tell. Uh, so putting a brushless system in here, a bigger brushless system in there, should be possible. This is a 3660, I think. May not be. Yeah, no, it is. That's just going to plop straight in there, which will be fun. So we'll definitely be doing that ASAP. Full-size servo, I do like that. Excellent. Very good indeed. WL Toys. Why, why, <clears throat> why have you used a five-wire servo again? Is it just that you don't like us? Is that the problem here? Because we really like you. So please, I beg of you, start to use a three-wire servo. I mean, it'll be easier for you. There's two less wires to mess around with. Come on. Okay, steering. This has got the steering mod on it, but this is just, would essentially just be a, um, a metal bar from side to side. And here, the steering is... Okay, on the editing, I'm actually going to have to turn that up. Do you hear how silent that is? They have used... Bearings, WL Toys, I love you. I truly do. Oh, that's brilliant. Bearings on the steering. Who'd have thought of that idea? Okay, right, now to this car. Um, I think what's going to be best to do is to strip it down straight away and see what's here. I, 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 I've not watched any other videos. I didn't want any other channel's videos to sort of affect me and I didn't want to nick any ideas or be, be accused of nicking any ideas so I ha I do not know what to find the only thing I was told is that that there is a gear here it's not nothing special it's not a slip diff or anything like that I'm just looking around it's just it it, it feels it feels a smidge in better quality than the huge WL toys I'm not saying a great deal but it just just a little, a li little bit, a little bit. That's just spiteful. They've got a different size nut on it, which means I need to order some new nuts. Keep that in mind. I need to find, I think that this will then mean it's a seven millimeter, but I will double check that. As you can see, the nuts are different. Do I have, yeah. This is the nut from the 144001 and the 124019. Very different. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get confused. That goes there. Same system here as usual. Have they? Oh, WL Toys. So on the 124019, you've started to put in aluminium hexes, but on a big car like this, you've decided to go back to plastic. Why? Again, you're talking about cents, a few cents per corner. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, not to worry. Let's put that there. As you saw, the uh, pin came flying out there. I have a new phone. It's much bigger, so I have to start dodging from left to right. But of course, 
that in theory should mean that I will remember to keep on pressing the autofocus. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, where to start? I think I'm going to just uh, loosen the... Okay, to save you all a lot of time, a total of just over five minutes, um, I went through the rigmarole of taking off the shocks and taking off the tie rods and taking off the steering and taking all of these things off to get to the uh, differential when I didn't need to. In fact, it only took four screws to get into the differential. So rather than you all watching what is essentially very pointless, I will skip straight to it. Aha! Ta da! So do you, no, you don't even need to take those off there. Whoa, that's dry. What? So, it was the two, is it the two at the bottom? Yes, the two at the bottom and the two at the front here, like that, that need to come off. I'm gonna put this one a on. That's uh, now that I <clears throat> now that I know that's literally four bolts to get to the diff. How fantastic is that? Absolutely fantacker! I apologize I apologize to you that have seen others' uh, videos and know how it, it works. I haven't seen others, so this is why I'm doing it like this. Okay. Let's have a look inside. Place your bets now. Grease inside or not? Okay, this is a different system. So I will do this slowly so that everybody can see. Yes, there's grease inside, but that is not a lot of grease. Obviously, you see the grease there, that's fine. But there doesn't seem to be a lot elsewhere. So how does this... okay. That comes off. And these come out nice and chunky people all right you, you know what there's more than I expected so I'll, I'll give WL toys their due sorry about the focusing oh, definitely one of those today I'm gonna bring these up the I've just listed the green came off let me show you these they are chunky chunky as anything there you know in my opinion that's uh that's enough um grease to begin with if you're gonna you know go straight to brushless i would recommend getting rid of this grease and putting some white lithium grease in like what i'm going to do as i'm here anyway um on the outside definitely not enough you know in the actual uh, diff itself there's nowhere near enough there but this part is going to be me just cleaning the diff up, so I'll probably just blast through it anyway. You've all seen me clean a diff a uh, trillion, a million times before, so you may as well listen to, to some nice music and, and watch me blast through this really quickly. They're now banging next door, so I'm just going to remain quiet while I'm putting 
the white lithium grease in. Though it's hard for me to remain quiet, so I may not remain completely quiet. Ooh. As with every diff, make sure that this, oh, sorry, this is facing upwards on the first one that you put in. And then this one, the second one is facing downwards so that they can lock into position like so. Because if you don't and they sit like that, you have grinding sounds. Which is kind of defeating the whole object of doing this, isn't it? Let's be honest. I love the chunkiness of this. What a difference it is working on them. I, due to my illness, I shake a lot, no matter whether I have coffee or not. So on the smaller ones, I'm constantly shaking, but these just feel a lot chunkier and a lot better. I notice I haven't got any shims in, which is washers either side of here, and I'm not going to put any in because, as of yet, there's no reason to do so. This this diff feels so much better quality than previous uh, previous ones. I'm glad to see they didn't try and just get away with, um, you know, the same ones in here. They've made a real effort. See what's happened there? The top one has spun round. And this is why I never push them down until they're roughly in position so that I can make sure. If you now see, when I push that down, the cross is now there. So then, done. A little bit more in. It's great having the gasket, but of course now you have to make sure that everything is lined up 110% perfectly. And I've already moved the gasket, as you can see there. See how the green has moved somewhat, so up it goes again. There we go. Okay, so put the gasket on the top part. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. One's magnetic, one is not. That's a really good start, isn't it? Lose a bolt already. What a plunker! I found it! So, those of you with good eyesight and noticed that when the four bolts were here, when I picked up the tissue for the last time and threw it away, it obviously stuck on some of the grease and off it went into the bin. So how lucky was I? Nicey nice. Don't forget to put the bearing back on. I wonder why they've opted to put absolutely no grease into there. I think it's a mistake. I honestly do. Did it go that way?
Yeah, it went that way. So, two there and two from the underneath. So these two long ones here did not need to come out. How blimmin' brilliant. Thank you, WL Toys, that we can now get access to the diff incredibly, incredibly easy. This is not going to be a complete strip down of everything today. I just want to see what was inside the diffs, to be honest with you. Um, things like steering system and an actual complete strip down, I'll do a whole complete video for that. I've already got several plans for this. WO Toys um, themselves have in fact sent me a car. There was a miscommunication. Um, I'm not going to say from which side. But I've been looking forward to the 104001 for about several months. And they kindly sent me a 144001. So when it arrived, it was like, what? But I've got five of those. Why do I need another one? So I contacted WO Toys and they have now sent me a 104001. Which is absolutely fabulous. I've been very lucky to be able to get in contact with them directly now. They actually, I, they actually responded to me and I got the contact details. So I was able to uh, speak with them directly for about half an hour. And they also said that they're going to send me like an RC boat. And hopefully a few other things in the future. Which is absolutely fabulous. Very, very lucky. So thank you to WL Toys as well. Right, I'm going to, sorry, I know some of you may not want this. Squidge. I do, however, want it, so. Right, so, put the cover back on. That fits in nicely. Very, very, very good. Actually, to, I mentioned at the start of this video about me trying very hard, begging, pleading and groveling with a lot of people to get this car earlier than anybody else. Obviously, you know, what YouTuber wouldn't want that? But as I said, the YouTube gods deemed me not worthy this time. Last time with the 124019, I was one of the first and very lucky for it. Um, but I'd actually placed an order as well with WL Toys. Um, and then just before release, they increased the shipping uh, a lot, not a small amount. And I'd already spent 170 euros on this one sample and they wanted more shipping and it was a lot more and I didn't have it. So I had to cancel the order, but that was okay because I'd already spoken with WO Toys directly and they said they were sending me one. But of course then they didn't send me that one and they sent me a 144. So all of my wheelie, wheeling and dealering came to naught. Actually came to worse because then the one from Maker Fire also was delayed in getting here. So, my own fault. Well, not really. All I want to do is bring you guys the new products as soon as possible. Congratulations again to the winners of the competition, both of you. Um, but I would like to say one thing to um, about Chris, Chris Gerard, who had um, won the RC car. Turns out that in fact he has never had an RC car before, so this will be his first. So it's fantastic to welcome him into the hobby. Congratulations, and if you need anything, you know where we are. Do I need to take all of this off now? Here I am just at the front going, 
Wow, that's amazing. Maybe I should finish the front off. How about that? Plonker. That's not sitting well, is it? Okay, now, get your, your uh, watches ready. How long to get into a diff now? Go! My, my electric screwdriver would be much quicker. Yes, it's these two. not to apply for an, a job with it, a Formula One team. Mm. I'd help if it wasn't sliding forward constantly. Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god. Oh wow! And you don't have to take all the other bits off like what I did on the front one. WO Toys, we love, how do you do it? Love you! Wow! Right, now everybody, please, I beg of you, keep your eye on the uh, the four screws. Well, I'm not being funny, and I'm not going to blame anyone specifically, but somebody didn't put silent on their new phone. I'm going to have to have words with Colin. It's terrible. One, two, three, four. That's what the word magnet means, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm unhappy with that. I have noticed it's there. But, as I said, I'm here, Ooh, so I may as well swap it over. To, just to let people know, I, this isn't my final um, sort of attempt to grease up these diffs. Uh, when I'm doing these videos, I try, I try to just get through it as quickly as possible. Obviously, you guys don't want to, you know, if you guys want to watch me, you know, take all these bits out and wash them all and clean them all absolutely impeccably, then, you know, I'll make a five hour video. But that's why I don't spend loads and loads of time getting all of the old grease out but trust me our out of camera off camera in my spare time what little i have i'm a bit of an rc nut and i do like to take things apart and whatnot so i will be taking it apart properly but i do notice that this doesn't have a screw here or on the bottom does it no so this is fixed i don't think it can come out can it or maybe it can Yes, it can, good. So then you got the pin, and then everything will come out. That's good, oh, although it means that I've got more to clean afterwards. Why do I do these things? Why do I show that things come apart? Because it just gives me more work. That has to be right in the center. Mind you, I could have cleaned it when I had it out, but... I will inform you all that this is currently Saturday morning. And it seems that I've gotten out of bed today and left my brain cells in bed. Which is good in one way and not in another. 
I've been now fighting with DHL Italy, and I mean fighting, you know, you really shouldn't be. They've got two of my parcels, and they want me to pay import taxes into Italy, and they're going to an Italian address because that's where Malta Post um, have their Italian warehouse, and it's a way of me getting bigger parcels. They go to Italy, and then I pay 12 euros to get them to Malta. But they did not come from an EU warehouse, which they should have done. Um, so obviously Italy have gone, oi, you owe us some import taxes. I went, oi, that's correct. I see that. Uh, let me know how much. They told me how much and now I've been spending the last nine days trying to get a, a payment, you know, a payment link for them so I can pay for them and it seems impossible. They keep on directing me back to the same place and I've told them in 12, 13 emails and four phone calls now that I can't register because I don't have an Italian telephone number and you can only register with an Italian telephone number. So they have two very expensive packages that I need for the channel that I can't get hold of. Let me show you again. Sitting pretty there. Push it down. Why is that not going down? There we go. I just uh, moved it slightly underneath and it's obviously moved the cogs around a little bit. These are slightly chunkier so you can actually turn it. They don't line up like on the 124019 and the 144001. Got little grooves that they line up with here that they, they don't, so you can have this problem <laughs> that I'm having. A few alignment issues, ladies and gents. Nice. Cars on the left, the diffs on the left, the big uh, wheel always faces you with WL toys. Not, oh, I forgot the bearing, not always the same with um, other brands. Gorgeous. Loving this. Actually, I think while we're here, we'll take the uh, the gold bar off here and see. I know that there's a gear there, but I haven't seen it, so I thought it's a good time for us all to have a quick peek. See, that's how it's all set up. Oh, I forgot to do the drive shafts. Oh, well. I don't like these ball joints, I'm afraid. They come off far too easily. In fact, much easier than even the 144001 as he struggles getting one off, of course. Why? Why, why is it with the YouTube gods at the minute? Have I really upset you that much? Is that there? 
see this here? Is this so you could connect a, a anti-roll bar, maybe? Okay, a dookie. Looking good, ladies and gents. Let's just... This one a uh, bacon. Okay, I'm gonna push that one through. Can you over tighten these? Yes, the same design as the old one, so for sure. Nice, okay, let's have a quick gander goo in here. No intentions of taking it all apart. And we'll just... Have a quick look in. Let's have a look. As you can see. <laughs> oh god. Oh. There we go. Now to those wanting to know what was inside. Adjustable motor mount. Thank you WL Toys. Let's put the wheels on the back down. Make sure it's in focus. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I will remain quiet while I just put this back together. Then we'll put a battery in and just make sure that everything's working in preparation for when the sun comes out. That is so smooth. Do it that way so you can see properly. Lovely.
Done, ladies and gentlemen. Love this. Love the steering. Love the way the discs can be out in seconds. Love. Love the way the shocks are mounted. Love the chassis, even though you know I've not even been outside yet and it's scraped to shit. But this is metal, so that would is to be expected. I absolutely lo love it. Don't love that. You know, this should not be a 110. This should not be going at 45, should it? No, sorry, 40 kilometers an hour. So what's that, 27 miles an hour? That's slow. But, but, in saying that, it's lovely, isn't it? It's very pretty. So, you, you would have already seen the video of me driving outside. So this is the, this is just the last part of that. I've got a few plans for this in the future, so make sure that you stick around. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Stick around if you want to see a brushless version and you want to see it fly out of a fifth, wall, uh, fifth floor abandoned hotel to see if it's, if it's possible to survive. And I will catch you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.